Hello, and welcome to, Today in History, I'm your host, Abdalman El Dara, and I'm excited to take you on a journey through some of the most significant historical events that occurred on this day in history, so let's jump right in. On June 2, 1953, Queen Elizabeth II was crowned as the monarch of the United Kingdom. Her coronation ceremony held at Westminster Abbey in London was a momentous occasion, symbolizing continuity and ushering in a new era for the British monarchy. On this day, June 2, 1896, Guglielmo Marconi was granted a patent for his invention of the radio. Marconi's groundbreaking work in wireless communication revolutionized long-distance communication and laid the foundation for the development of modern telecommunications. On June 2, 1924, the United States granted citizenship to Native Americans through the Indian Citizenship Act. This landmark legislation recognized the rights of Native Americans as U.S. citizens and was a significant step toward rectifying past injustices. On June 2, 1941, baseball legend Lou Gehrig passed away at the age of 37. Gehrig, known as the Iron Horse, played for the New York Yankees and was renowned for his exceptional skills and consecutive games played streak. His untimely death brought attention to the disease that would later be named after him, amyotrophic lateral sclerosis (ALS). On this day in 1946, the people of Italy made a historic decision that would reshape their nation's future. Through a referendum, they voted to replace the governing monarchy with a republic. This marked a significant turning point in Italian history, reflecting the post-World War II aspirations for a more democratic and egalitarian system of governance. The establishment of the Italian Republic set the stage for a new era of progress, unity, and national identity. On this day, June 2, 1886, Grover Cleveland became the first U.S. president to marry while in office. He wed Frances Folsom, who was 27 years his junior, in a private ceremony at the White House. Their marriage captured public attention and added a touch of romance to the political landscape. On June 2, 1979, Pope John Paul II visited his native Poland, marking his first papal trip to a communist country. His visit brought hope and inspiration to the Polish people and played a significant role in the eventual collapse of communism in Eastern Europe. On this day, June 2, 1997, Timothy McVeigh was found guilty of the Oklahoma City bombing, a domestic terrorist attack that occurred on April 19, 1995. The bombing resulted in the deaths of 168 people and remains one of the deadliest acts of domestic terrorism in U.S. history. That's it for today's episode of Today in History. I hope you enjoyed learning about these significant events that took place on this day throughout history. Join me again tomorrow for another exciting episode. Thanks for watching.